Tolk's legions. As ages wane, legions of Tolk's devotees blindly endure decay, lie over lie. They foresee from their pristine plain each point of overlap, each wrinkle of their realm's entanglement with higher spaces. They reach for the ethereal rungs of heaven's ladder, despite no signs from the climbers ahead. They speak through the bounty of the squid's dark sigh, through the beetle shell's obsidian sheen, through the black ash offered by the palm of fire, through the ground powders of night-stained ores, through the lamp-black soot of burnt tar, through the crumbling mounds dug from an ochre pit, through the stern gray of graphite, through the dried growths of the cancerous gallnut, through the charred bone concoctions of the Kauai dynasty, through the branches of the hawthorn, through the strange device commissioned in 953 by Ma'ad al-Mu'iz, Grand Caliph of Egypt, to cradle the amniotic fluid of all magic spells in a leakless reservoir of crystal glass. Once unleashed, they lord over all gates and archways, all colonnades and palaces, all domes and spires, all vaults and dungeons, all birth wards and gravestones, all wishes and curses. They are no archivists, no saviors, and no guardians of truth. They are the ensigns of the end of memory. They are the total masters of their own domain, and they are not content despite being unleashed. Tear your gaze away from them and look to brighter shapes, to the singular, to the indivisible, to the meaningless but pure, or else let your eyes descend the ladders they have built to the abysmal bedrock where their world begins.